and will be assisted there by Nasolo Elizabeth and Naigaga Habiba as the fourth official. March is underway and we are live at the Gaddafi FC Arena. Gaddafi Football Club in the green and yellow camouflage. Yeah, about his potential, then David Bagoli is another one that can uh, really bring a spark in that midfield of uh, Gaddafi Football Club also if he decides to play. Long searching ball here as they get into the box and a straight shot here at the goalkeeper. Been a little clumsy, especially when they do fight very hard oh, to pick beautiful. it up. But this is good stuff coming in from Rashid Mpata. And that's a foul. The referee will want to quickly give a warning, a stern warning it is, for Joshua Lubwama, one of the key players there for Busoga United. And now a nice slip pass there for Bagole, getting it on, a chance for a shot! <laughs> but just look at that pass from Bagole. His sense of awareness, and he sees Buyala that is uh, unmarked and free, and then he gets that shot in. That was a very good opportunity, but the play from Bagole, that imagination is exactly what the game has been missing when he doesn't play, and he just shows that. And only if he keeps doing this, and you think that... Um, point it out. Another corner here, and Rubwama makes the preparations, but uh, might have given a lot to that, but the ball manages to come back. Seems its way across the face of goal, delivered in once again. The defense is there, tight shot, blocked well. Give Sekandi his flowers. Give this lad his flowers. He is top notch. Yeah, absolutely. He's, uh, I, I just don't think that I can say enough about how good he is as a goalkeeper. But each time that you watch him in that uh, Gaddafi goal, he pulls off so many saves, like we've just seen um, in this uh, phase of play. And he still keeps them in the game. And he still locks out a uh, URF football club. Everyone, not a very good clearance there. The ball still in the box area, but hastily finally cleared out. You can see that uh, URA really came close to breaking the deadlock here with that um, those shots at goal. Although I, I still feel that um, we're yet to see the best of them in terms of uh, their play. I guess sometimes you have those days where maybe the flow is not on, the glue that keeps you together as a team is just not on. And then what you have to do is uh, just um, get the goal and that's probably all that matters. Into the box! A chance here! And you give him half a chance. No man, no man, yeah. Waste no time. For some reason, the defense were not paying attention. And for David, that laugh simply says all too easy. And then how does he beat you easy? That's a former teammate of his at Busoka United. On any other day. Just look at that. With that number and then of players. Where are the defenders and, in the oh center? my goodness. Gaddafi still have possession. But they are trailing. They need to find a way to bounce back sooner than later. This URA team have not fully clicked today, haven't even fully played a boa ball today. Not at all. And they are still in the lead. You would really want to hurt them now yeah. before they get into that mode. Yeah, well, one thing is uh, for sure is that um, even the changes I think that Obua keeps making, it takes time before the players um, can uh, really adapt to each other and know the moves and all that. Because you can see that one of the things that he's uh, been constantly doing is that his lineup is uh, quite unpredictable. Brought through. Wamana lost the ball here. Tongpo marshalling the entire midfield there. Gets the ball here looking for support. And now spread out here one on one. And Buyala puts it over the bar. A real, real, real um, turnaround of events there. Long ball comes in. Looking for Saidi. The chance here for Tibita. Strikes the upright be two goals down yeah exactly as much as uh, they could also have been uh, with the same return already had they had better finishing but that was very poor defensive play because you see that your opponent brings the ball down and you don't close him down so what do you expect you're going to be punished i think that that was very poor play from uh, the defensive area of uh, Gaddafi. because why do you let your opponent bring the ball down well a couple of things for them to stew on and uh try to digest as they are in the dressing rooms with 15 minutes to get their act together Second half gets underway right here in ginger at uh, the gaddafi fc arena it is well definitely another 45 minutes that need to be top notch for ura to finish off this game in a fatigue fashion but 
Samuju. Releasing a long ball. This could be a good moment here. Kabungu. Kabungu into the box area. He's stripped. And that's definitely going to be a hefty booking. The referee, Shamira Nabada, will suffer no fools here. Amis could be in a potentially bad, bad place here. Yeah, of course, uh, now it uh, remains uh, a decision man, by the referee. Final man, and it's a yellow card brandished. Yeah. He's lucky. He's very He's lucky. He's very lucky. Ivan Ahimbi Sibwe taking the place of John Innocent Chisoro. Yeah, I guess um, what uh, David Obua is trying to do now is uh, try and get more attackers onto the field and try and see that he can close out this game because he's living dangerous with just that one nil lead. And seeing the way his uh, players are um, giving away opportunities forward, so he needs to bring on a, a striker. He almost got off the mark there. Um, expected of him because there was clearly no challenge coming in from um, the Gaddafi Football Club attackers. Well, clumsy clearance allows a shot from Samuju. Top back and the ball is cleared away off the line. Appeals for a penalty not given. It was a clumsy, clumsy clearance there. Muchungo allowing Semuju the first shot. The return ball from Bruno Jr. Nyagua not helping. My oh my, have they gotten lucky? Yeah, they have. Those two shots, goal line clearances. The goalkeeper does well, Andrew Sekandi. And then uh, you can see Muchungo also standing tall to block that shot uh, from Bunyaga. It's actually Ashira Siku yeah. using the modified Rob Warner to retain possession. Play back. Uh, cleared away. Hasty clearance. You can guess the feeling that uh, Gaddafi are now under pressure. They're being closed down well enough by URA. URA haven't uh, really played a lot of a poor ball tonight, but their closing down has been... Uh, quite commendable yeah and you can see that um they've made it very difficult uh, for this uh, Gaddafi side especially in the second half to get any spaces in behind them at the back spread out chungo gets onto the ball teases the shots not on target not on target decent attempt good idea kambugu unfortunately unable to hit the target that's encouraging yeah You'll probably get uh, more encouragement from his coach to ask him to keep doing more of the same yeah and the thing is that uh, for Friday it remains 1-0 then um, this Gaddafi side has got every reason to keep believing that they can get back into this game for Bu on the other hand he's uh, seeking his first win away from home and um, it will be a very good opportunity for his players if they can hold on to this lead and uh, keep out uh, Gaddafi Football Club that should actually inspire them going into the rest of the second round, particularly in the games away from home where they've uh, struggled uh, to win. Well, the calculations and the permutations here are not lost on the fans. And what's at stake here, pretty much evident. In the meantime, still 2-1 it is in Kacheka as Mbarara still lead Express Football Club by a goal to nil. Then later on, Bull FC will line up against uh, Kampala Capital City Authority. That's uh, bound to be a real interesting game. The match, it's, I do understand, are already out. Probably be taking a prying eye there to find out what exactly they look like. Yeah, kickoff is in uh, approximately 30 minutes. It should be a very good game of football, especially when you consider that uh, KCC are trying to climb up the table and they would want to avenge for that uh, opening day season defeat at the hands of uh, Bull FC in. Um, in Jeru. You remember that 88th minute header from uh, Nicolas Muere? It's an interesting lineup there. Joseph Oguang gets to start here. Rare, rare for KCC. Alex Waswa, fresh from Express on loan, is also in that midfield, as will be certain Katenga Otien, Manuel Loki as well. And here comes a chance and a shot. And that's why it's Semuju, willing runner. Well, this time is the first time that he's taking that shot and shot on target. But for Mutono David, they are living dangerously. Yeah, I'm sure he must be disappointed that uh, Kaka did not release that ball earlier. And instead, he was running towards his own area. And so once he lost the ball, it gave uh, URA a very good momentum to just run at their goal. So you feel that those are some of the mistakes that really hurt coaches when you see players making Come very on poor go mistakes. With a brilliant escape there from the shackles of the midfielders around him. 
none of his teammates could replicate similar intensity. And that's a foul. And the free kick, Sengendo Sharifu, will now go to the referee's book. It's a yellow card. Opting to utilize the wings tonight. Semuju gives away possession. Good disposition there from uh, Amiru. And that's a foul and a booking here. Amis making a meal of that. Yeah. And now Gaddafi will get forward in numbers. Amiru almost lost the ball there. Now eventually loses it and mistimes his challenge and uh, will get booked for that. It's the penultimate hour here. Down to the final seconds for Shamira Nabada. And West's no time bringing this one to a close. So the one solitary goal.